Amy, how's life? How's your drug addiction? Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna eat the rest of it too. Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. I'm Leah. And I'm Chuck. And today's video, we're doing part two of trying you guys' weird food combinations. Y'all loved when we did this last time, so we're excited to do this again. So, unfortunately, this is our lunch. <laughs> So it better be good. It better be good snacks. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below and help us get to 500 because we have a big giveaway coming up. Chip cookies. Chocolate chip cookies and orange juice. Okay, so first up, we have chocolate chip cookies with orange juice. I got the orange juice, I promise it's orange juice. Can you see it? Okay. Brittany, I don't know. All right. Where's Amy been with her, her, her good stuff? <laughs> the good good? Yeah. Amy has a um, baby. She's okay. responsible. <laughs> Amy. All right. All right. Do I soak it there like milk? It's so bad. And I hate hard cookies too. Yeah, me too. That's why I'm soaking it real good. <laughs> All right. Whew. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh oh, you have to try it. Can oh wait. No. Uh, you, you know what it reminds me of? Orange chocolate. Those little, those little chocolate things that you get during the holidays. Mm -hmm. That I always get. Those are disgusting. But you can't make that face and come back and be like. Oh. Well, okay. Six hours later. The initial taste. I don't like orange juice, but once the chocolate takes over, it just tastes like orange chocolate. It tastes one hundred percent like orange chocolate. Ah, I get it now. At first, I was like, who the hell dips their chocolate chip cookies in that? Orange chocolate. It's all good. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Done. Rating that a five. As far as I'll rate it taste-wise, if you're going to compare it to orange chocolate, a 7.5. Yeah. A snack, a one. I'm going to give it a five. Next, we have pickles in a tortilla, like a tortilla-wrapped pickle. Is that what she meant? I don't know. Oh, okay, this is all we had was these really, really big flour ones, so Take I'm gonna cut it in half. half. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. So there's no in the middle like sauce or no, just pickle wrapped in tortilla. I'm making yours first. What? Understand who comes up with stuff like this at home? Don't put two pickles in. No, yeah, you have to get the. Full, it's supposed to be a full pickle, but this is all we have. We're just gonna. Share Actually, it. this looks like it's gonna be really good. I'm Here. sharing it. There's no point in making two of these. Yeah, you're right. We have to actually eat. There's like sandwiches and the at the end. the tortilla's warm? I had to warm it up because they've been in... Okay, the bag was kind of open, so they were kind of stale. <laughs> mm -mm. No? Uh -oh. It's really... All she tastes is the pickle. Not a good combination. I actually like it. Yeah, I knew you would. She liked pickles. I give it a four. Snack wise, I give it a one. I'm gonna give it a three. Dude, that's horrible. Jesus. Not bad. Like, it's not bad, but it like it's like one of those like I have nothing in the house to eat, but tortillas and pickles. It's okay. kind of like the um, what last video was it with like the cookies and cream ice cream? Like, it's not bad, but it's not something I'm gonna eat. All right, so the next snack. <laughs> is actually from my friend's mom and she's she's said this to me multiple times that she likes this but it's grapes and shredded cheese and you just scoop it together i kind of feel like this is going to be good though something you about, that about every single one of them yeah okay well damn yeah okay i'm gonna try it first you didn't get any cheese that's not bad It's almost like a grape salad. Mm -hmm. And you're using your grapes as a salad. Lettuce, I mean. It's not bad. I won't eat it again, but I give that a four. A four? Yeah. I'm gonna give it a five. Yeah. Nothing's hit the six mark yet. You do like a, I don't know, that little sauce they give you at Jason's Deli. You throw that in there. Like even the, some cottage cheese. The grapes are good though. I actually woke up last night and hit about seven of those. You did? Yep. Peanut butter, banana, and marshmallow cream sandwich. So, obviously the person that told me this can tell that this is not how they probably make it. 
but I didn't buy marshmallow cream the other day. I just went ahead and melted marshmallows. So it looks a little weird, but we're just gonna go in. Ugh. I tie my hair back. It's like gonna be really sweet. This is the messiest thing I've ever eaten in my life. No, it's not bad. I hit the nigga. We just hit the. I hit the six, but not a banana fan. I would definitely probably, maybe one day in the way future, eat the uh, bread with the peanut butter and marshmallow cream without the banana. Mm -hmm. Not bad. I don't hate it. It's so messy. Mine isn't. Yeah, babe. It's so sweet. I'm gonna go with a five. Everything's been a five. I'll do a six, because I like peanut butter. This one is a slice of bread. <laughs> a slice of bread, or I'm sorry, yeah, a slice of bread with a sliced cheese with browned marshmallows on top. I put them in the oven under the broiler, and I don't know. This is how much y'all love y'all. I love y'all because I'm not going to be able to eat for the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give this an eight. This is good. Not bad. That's a definitely an eight. Eight or nine. I'll definitely make this again whenever I need a snack. I'm gonna go with a seven. Best one so far, obviously. I don't understand it. Like how it's good. Saltiness of the cheese the cheese at the end. Mm-hmm. Not bad. Messy. Seven, seven though. All right, we have our last one. We were planning on doing like two more and our stomachs are just not up for it. Like these videos are so tough to do. No one tells you how tough they are because it just is too many flavors. And we have to actually like go to work and stuff after this. A little rumble in the jungle down low. <laughs> I mean, it's not, I wouldn't go that far, but yeah. definitely can't do any more after this. So we're doing our last one. This is the popcorn with mustard. I put some mustard on a paper plate. I mean. Tastes like mustard. Oh my god, my fingers are so sticky from that marshmallow cream. I can't get rid of the marshmallow cream. Like it's following me everywhere. Mmm. This is like a really healthy snack. I like it. Really? It's my favorite one. I guess because I don't know. This is because it's not sweet. All the other snacks were so sweet. Like I said, that was the first thing I'd eaten today was those snacks. It's not good for the tummy. This isn't bad. I mean, I dipped carrots in mustard, so. That's it for me, guys. I'm good on the wacky food challenge. Right? Yeah. Thank you all for submitting all those wacky foods that one time that I asked. Because yeah. I have enough. We had enough options to do like five of these videos. Thanks for watching as always. And we have, we can't, we can't do the videos with this food anymore. No, we're done for a while. Unless we do a, another blindfolded video, which I already have some request for that. But you do? A, oh yeah. It's all good. Oh, uh, y'all are going to do me dirty. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe down below. Bye guys.